Oasis kids, it is so good to be back. I have been worshiping all week long. You know, continuing to learn about who we are as Oasis kids is important because it helps us to grow our faith. So today, brrr, Oasis kids, we play together. Playing together, in case you didn't know, is all about having fun with games and toys and our imaginations. But the most special part about playing is making friends with the kids that we play with. And the more we play, the stronger those friendships get. That might mean playing in a group where there's lots of us, or where it's just a couple of us. The point is to have a good time. Are you ready? Then play ball! Here are a couple of familiar friends and they're ready to face off, literally, in an epic battle of Roblox Rhino Race. <laughs> In this corner, we have Max riding a rhino. And in that corner, we have Olivia riding a giraffe. Who do you think is going to win? Hmm? Cheer for your favorite player and let the race begin. Give me the best. Figuring it out. Yes, some delicious, delicious grass. Whoa. Oh, no, no, I ate one of the, one of the things. Are you dead? I'm so good. Delicious grass. Oh, he's he's speeding up. I don't know, but it's amazing. Cat grass catch. Oh no, I ate the thing. Oh, I'm still going. I think this is amazing. Is this amazing? I don't know. <laughs> hey, Oasis Kids, it's time for you to get into the game. We are going to play some Would You Rather. It's pretty simple. I'll ask you a question and you decide which option you would rather choose. These are always hilarious. Here we go. Would you rather be able to fly or be able to turn invisible? Hmm? If you would rather fly, let me see you flap your wings. Uh-huh. Go on. Ha <laughs> ha, nice. Mmm, I can practically feel the breeze in my fur. Mmm. If you'd rather be invisible, hmm. <gasps> Strike an invisible, silent, sneaky pose. Three, two, one, and... Wait. Huh? Where do you all go? <laughs> Just kidding. I love hanging out with you. Stories of the Bible. Jesus and the children. This is Jesus. hey -oh! Who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love and healed people from their sickness. He did many miracles like calming storms and even raised people from the dead. One day, some parents brought their children to Jesus so he could bless them. But the disciples scolded the parents for bothering him. When Jesus saw what was happening, he was angry with his disciples. Ah, uh, hold on there. He said to them, let the children come to me. Don't stop them, for the kingdom of God belongs to those who are like these children. 
I tell you the truth, anyone who doesn't receive the kingdom of God like a child will never enter it. Then he took the children in his arms and blessed them. Every day they continued to meet together in the temple courts. They broke bread in their homes and ate together with glad and sincere hearts. What are you doing? Let's try this again. This is how the Bible calls us to live. And by break bread, <laughs> it doesn't mean karate chop. It means do life together, share meals together. When your neighbor needs something, you provide for them. You help them out. We help each other. We encourage each other. We sit with each other through hard times. We're there for each other. God calls us to be in community. And even if it looks different in different seasons, being present for each other nonetheless. So we're meant to be the walking, talking image of Jesus in this world. No, <laughs> not literally look like Jesus. That's weird. But to look like love, to provide for one another, to care for one another, to have fun with each other. God designed us to be in community together. He knows how important that is, that we have each other, that we can lean on each other, that we can encourage each other, and that we're not just doing this alone. The church is not just a building. It is that very thing. It is community and it is family. So let me ask you, do you have a church community? Do you have a family of believers to do life with? If not, what's something you can do to reach out and to take that step into getting deeper in community? What up, what up? We love to play together. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sing with me now. What up, what up? We love to play together, together. We swim in the pool together when it's hot outside and we need to cool down together, er, er, together. Hello everyone. Welcome to today's World According to Me. The World According to Me. And today, that me is me, David. You don't know me? Hello. Today, we are going to talk about the magnificent, illustrious, exciting, engaging, wonderful world of gaming. One of my favorite categories. And I thought, man, who should I call to talk about gaming? There's one easy answer, and his name is Wayne Marshall, AKA Modded Marsh. Keep it modded. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and give Wayne a call. Let's get talking about gaming. Wayne. Hey, how's <laughs> it going? What's up, man? How you doing? You're good, how are you? I'm good, I'm good, man. Uh, I see you're at your station. What you working on? Uh, today, tonight, I'm actually working on a uh, PS3. I'm modding it right now so I can install some games into the motherboard. So that way, you'll have endless amount of games on your console. I mean, I just want to make sure that we, you know, I probably only need to test that first. Like, I don't want any kids hurting themselves, you know, playing video games, so. Yeah, you, you can test it out. You can make sure all the games work. Make, uh, make sure there's no glitches or anything like that. Perfect. You know, perfect. That's all I have. <laughs> well, I mean, Wayne, I, I called you because obviously you are a pro, you're an expert, you do this, I mean, you're working on games daily. I just want to know kind of in your expert opinion as a gamer, as a modder, as an all around pro, um, how do you think people are brought together through gaming? I mean, they're brought together because they you get to establish friendships with people. So normally, um, if Instead of having conversations about, you know, certain things, you just start gaming. You start talking about the players or the characters in the game. You get to level up. You help each other out in the game. So some of the games are, are co-op where you got to be in team. So developing that friendship through there can, can be great. And yeah, those 40-man raids. And you got to work together as a team for sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> cool. I mean, that really reminds me of one of our values at Oasis Kids, which is we we play together. It's one of our my favorite values, probably. Um, 
one of my favorite ways of doing that is definitely through gaming because I grew up gaming, right? So I'm, I'd love to know why, why do you think that having fun together is important? I mean, it, it's it's a good way to just relax, you know, and, and, and let go of things that are bothering if you're going through a hard time. Um, playing together with friends is a good way to to just forget about things and, and just, just have a good time, you know, let the, the inner kid come out and then be be joyful like like uh like in the bible how it says you know the, the children are the are the way i love it i mean i definitely am not thinking of anything negative when i'm gaming i'm thinking about the game and it, it's always it's always right. fun and you were you with somebody else like you're making fun memories and just good having fun together all right man well thanks for taking the call really appreciate no it we have, have a great day you too don't forget keep it modded you stay modded, stay modded. <laughs> All right, we'll see you later. Have a good one. All right, peace. Uh, well, here you have it, friends. We can have fun together by playing together, by gaming together. But that's not the only way we can have fun. We can have fun together by doing an art project, playing sports, theater, all kinds of great things we can do together to have fun. And that's why being an Oasis kid is so fun, is because we do things and we play, we grow together. I wanna hear from you. What do you like to do with other friends? What do you guys like to do to hang out and have fun? Let's hear from you. Uh, anyways, I love y'all, I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. On a scale of one to 10, how much fun did you all have today? I would give it mm, a 9.5. And that's only because our time is coming to an end for this week. But I still had a blast hanging out with you today. And did you know that God can speak to us during those moments when we're hanging out and playing with our friends? It's true. Want to know what I felt God say to me? He said, <clears throat> Felix, these are some awesome people you get to hang out with. You are part of a special community. How cool is that? Hmm, I wonder what God might say to your heart throughout the rest of today. I am so excited for the next time we get to play together. Catch you on the flippity flop. <laughs>